Cool. So basically, I'm here to present exactly the opposite of Mo, what Mo presented, because I'm going to talk about reanimated. So yeah, for those of you who, haven't, who don't know me, I am George. I am a full stack developer at Theodo. I also often post a lot of uh, React Native components on Twitter. So maybe you may have seen one. Here are some examples. So one of them is the one that Mo talked about. But there's others basically using this as like a way to learn stuff about React Native. But today, we're going to talk about the health rings. So I don't know if you guys know, like on the Apple Watch, when you like, I don't know, it's really cool. Like you fill in your rings when you walk and when you stand, and like they're animated and they're really nice. So yeah, basically, I, I just wanted to make that with React Native and like add all, all of the animations. So the way I've done it is with a React Native SVG. So SVG, React Native SVG allows us to just like render shapes and different, stuff, different components the way we want. And then we have React Native Reanimated, which is basically, yeah, just animating the whole component. So let's start. So where do we start with something like this? Uh, the best way is to start with like all of our static content. So obviously we have like the background rings. Oh, you can't see anything. Well, here's like, this is supposed to be like a ring. But it's too dark. <laughs> it doesn't matter. Uh, so yeah, this ring is like, imagine it's, it's supposed to be like, yeah, a ring, <laughs> basically with an, like an empty like fill. So the way you do that is like basically SVG allows us to declare an SVG programmatically. And so that it has the different components that you can use and that you can render. So the one that I'm using here is basically circle. And circle allows us to just make basically render a circle. And then we can make the fill be transparent, as you can see here, and define the color, the radius, the width, all of that. And so where do we go from here? We need to build the animations. So to add the animations, we need to tap into basically React Native Reanimated. And the way you do that is you have to create an animated component. So what I've done here is I've created an animated circle. And uh, basically, it has like a create animated component function. And then we pass in the component that we want. So what we want to pass in is the React Native SVG circle. And then we declare basically our animation settings here. This might be a bit, a bit messy. Like I, for those of you who have used React Native Reanimated, I, this was the first time I did. So yeah. Basically, I put this in the use effect so that it basically whenever the value of the percentage of the ring changes, it can re-render and replay the animation. And yeah, that's basically how you do it. And the way you then render this component is this basically just like functions like a normal component. It takes like the same props. So if I create an animated circle using cir the circle component, the animated circle will take the same props as a circle, but it will also have the properties that I defined. So yeah, here you can see basically I've defined a bunch of things like the stroke, the fill. And one thing that is really important here, so as you can see, like this is a, a gradient. And the way I've done this is through this weird thing that I've put in the stroke. So like URL gradient. So what this does is we can define basically reusable, reusable, how do you, what, what can I call them? Like basically reusable things that we, from React Native SVG that we can pass into our other components. So it has basically like a defs component. And here I've defined a linear gradient and basically telling it like the colors and everything. And then you, through the idea, I can pass it through to the stroke in the animated circle and it will basically render the, the gradient. And this is how you get to this but we want to get to, to this weird thing. So that's, prob that's probably the simplest thing. So once you have the ring, it's really easy to get to this. The way you do it, like really simple, we wrap all of this code inside of a ring component. And then basically outside of that, oh, oh something is wrong in my slide probably. But basically what, yeah, this image is covered as this. But basically I have like a, an array that declares the rings and all the props that are supposed to be passing through them. And then I do an array dot map and I render all of those rings. And because my, in my SVG I declare them as position absolute, we can make sure that like all of the rings are rendered on top of each other. So you can have like this cool effect. And yeah, that's it basically. And here, maybe, maybe I should do a small demo because I have the app here. Oh, where's my mouse? Oh, sorry. What's going on? I've lost my mouse. Is it? Oh, yeah, my screens are like probably messed up. Cool. 
So yeah, like a, this is a really simple, like small expo app. And you click this button and you see that it generates a bunch of data. And yeah, this is this basically generates like percentages in it. Like the animation plays because I have it in the use effect, as I said before. Like even if I spam it, like it will keep working and then I can remove it like this. So yeah, really simple. So here is the link to the source code if anyone wants to, to play with it or do whatever you want. And if you, yeah, I'll give you a few seconds, whoever wants to scan it. And if you want to see more of these types of things, because I usually post a lot of React Native components like this, you can follow me on Twitter. So yeah. This isn't actually a question. George got this component featured in the React Native newsletter, which was really, really impressive. The one by Infinite Red. So, uh, yeah, it's a, it's a very cool component. Hey, uh, just a very stupid question because I don't know anything about reanimated, basically. The linear gradient, is that something included in SVG? Uh, or is it like yeah. the other library? So I can actually show you the code probably. I have it here. This is really messy, really messy code. But yeah, it was like 2 a.m. or something. Yeah, it's from, from SVG, basically. And then SVG, oh, maybe I should zoom in a bit more. Like you can see here that SVG like allows us to basically declare these reusable things here. And so we can just pass it through this ID. Would you recommend using this linear gradient? Like if you ever had to reach for a linear gradient, would you suggest using the one in SVG compared to other libraries? I won't, don't really know. I think the reason why I use it is because it, I was just using SVG and it was just the easiest thing to tap into. There might be better things, but I wouldn't know how to. Yeah, if this, this is probably the better one. Yeah. I was just wondering. Okay, cool. Thanks. Hi. Are you able to go into a bit more detail about how you actually animated the circle to change how much of it is filled in? Yes. I don't, I don't remember exactly how I did it. I'm not going to lie. It was like a few months ago. Uh, but basically, if I remember correctly, I think it should be it's one of those, I think it's this one. So it's like basically a prop on the circle that determines how much it's filled. I, I'm pretty sure it's the stroke dash offset. It's basically like you determine like, it, it, it's determined through a prop, basically. Nothing crazy.